and welcome to People's Dispatch. We are reporting from Caracas, where an international solidarity meeting with Venezuela is being held, and delegates from 85 countries have arrived to express their solidarity with the Bolivarian Revolution. Venezuela. Today we are joined by Jana, a Central Committee member of the Lebanese Communist Party and she's here to talk about her organization as well as the current political situation in Lebanon. Thank you for joining us. Could you first talk about the current political situation and the policy framework of the new government that has uh, taken power, especially in the context of the previous governments? Okay. Uh, there are new policies that are set to be uh, uh, agreed upon in the new government. Uh, these, are, these mean more cuts uh, in, the, in the services. Uh, that are already uh, very, very uh, limited and in a very bad uh, quality. Uh, but the problem is that these policies are not coming on their own. These are the continuation of the ne same neoliberal policy, uh, policies which started in the ni early 1990s, uh, after the ending of the civil war, when the new government uh, actually applied uh, verbatim the uh, IMF projects that, that were uh, enforced on most of the third world countries. Uh, starting then, uh, the complete disenfranchisement of uh, the Lebanese people uh, was very much witnessed. Uh, in addition to the huge debt uh, that we're witnessing uh, the results of today. So as we are uh, 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 today uh, living under the results of the, these uh, destructive neoliberal policies from the 1990s, the current government is willing and planning to, uh, to decide upon new policies which are going to get to make the situation even worse to more than 95% of the Lebanese people. And uh, could you talk a bit more about which are the sectors that are likely to be especially uh, substantially hit because of these new policies? Healthcare, public education, uh, both in schools and the, and the public university. Uh, infrastructure, this is very important because the infrastructure since the end of the civil war has been very, very weak, including specifically electricity. Uh, we're one of the very few countries in the world which have uh, still have incredible, uh, 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 meaning four to six, uh, uh, three to six uh, hours of uh, electricity cuts per day. Uh, so we're going to have more electricity cuts, uh, water, uh, water sector uh, privatization, uh, in addition to uh, uh, several privatization projects in, in different uh, and diverse uh, sectors. Uh, uh, also at the level of the housing, the housing sector is, uh, is, is at the, uh, now at, at the, at the uh, uh, verge of destruction, specifically because of the real estate. The state has decided after the end of the civil war, the state had decided that only tourism is the sector that's going to be productive. Uh, meaning the destruction of agriculture, industry, art production, uh, 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 art crafts, everything that is not included directly in tourism. So after destroying that in 2000, since 2011, we have had the Syrian crisis, which meant also the destruction of tourism. Since then, the Lebanese state has decided to concentrate, concentrate only on banking, meaning that now we are, uh, we are paying the banks for everything that we're, we're, we're living for. Uh, in addition to that, or linked to the banking sector, is internally connected the real estate sector. So the housing crisis is incredibly uh, huge, and we're expecting more and more cuts at these levels. And could you talk a bit about the Lebanese Communist Party and its current approach to this crisis, and what are the movements and protests it's spearheading right now? Definitely. Uh, what we're do doing now is not starting from now. It has been an accumulation because we be believe and we see that it is impossible to work on the spot immediately. It has been an accumulation since specifically 2011. A movement has started back then uh, amongst the several uh, uprisings um, uh, in, in the Arab uh, world. And uh, we had another wave happening in 2014 with the unions, an amazing union movement, incredibly democratic and representative uh, uh, movement started in 2014. 2015, the, uh, sorry, that was in 2013. And then 2015, uh, the garbage crisis. And now in 2019, this is what we uh, uh, perceive as an, uh, a result of all of these movements, which also me means that it is an accumulation in awareness, not only in the, in the, in the political sense of the move movements. So um, 
what we have been trying to do and we're, we are still working on is, first of all, the formation of an opposition front. There's, there are very few uh, uh, leftist slash communist Marxist uh, 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 parties in Lebanon. So we are opening the, this front to, 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 to um, uh, involve everyone who, is, who, who sees and perceives the current situation as destructive. Uh, including national uh, anti-capitalist, anti-imperialist uh, uh, movements uh, uh, in order for us to build not only an opposition but an alternative. We're saying that this is bad, we're saying we don't agree on what is being proposed. The government, like all capitalists in the world, are saying there's no other solution. What we're trying to build in an ex extremely democratic way with everybody who is interested to come and build this uh, 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 alternative. And could you talk a bit more about the trade union movements there also? Which are the areas the trade unions are strong and the kind of mobilization they do? Uh, of course, part of the uh, new liberal policies in 1991, uh, starting by the 1990s, uh, uh, was to destroy the union movement, which was very strong in the 60s and the 70s. Uh, so uh, starting from then, we had a huge uh, uh, proliferation of, of creation of unions which meant uh, uh, funded by the capitalists, which meant that people, not only the unions uh, were destroyed, it meant also that people, uh, ordinary uh, uh, people, lost uh, uh, tr their trust with union, unionists and the union structure as a whole. So what we have been trying, I told you in 2013, we had a un very strong union movement, which had set new uh, tools and new rules for union working, specifically working all around the, uh, the region. So uh, meaning that the decision of any union movement comes from the regions first to break anyways the centralization that exists specifically in Lebanon. It meant also the participation of women in the higher uh, uh, positions. It also meant that there is a clear reading of the situation. We don't want compromises. We don't want one small uh, piece of, 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 uh, of uh, support from here and there. We want a, a, a very uh, progressive and, and, and real change in, in, in our, uh, based on our demands. So uh, what we are trying to do currently in many different uh, sectors is uh, in, in a very complex situation uh, uh, fueled by sectarianism, fueled by, uh, fueled by uh, money, uh, is to build the same kind of unions, specifically at the level of teachers, at the level of agricultural workers. Thank you so much. That's all we have time for today. Keep watching People's Dispatch.